In this video, we will continue with trigonometric identities. You will find this on page 186 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay. Prove the identity. This. Start with the left-hand side. It's the more complicated. Now, in this case, we, we're not going to multiply it out because we, it's with fractions. And as soon as we see fractions, we always try to rather express it in terms of sin and cos. And that's exactly what we do. We express. Now, maybe you can get confused between the steps. I left out a step there, but let me just show you. If you simplify this, you are going to say 1 over 1 multiply cos theta, the reciprocal, over sin theta. Okay, so basically you are going to get 1 over sin theta minus, and you're going to say cos theta over sin theta. Do you see? And I think if you see this, you will see. So now the denominators are the same, and I end up with 1 minus cos theta, and, don't, and it still keep my square. Now, as soon as I did this, I'm breaking it up. This I put over the fraction, this I put. So I'm actually making two fractions again. Now, what I did here, and I want to show you also, if I, I'm actually having one minus, if I make it one, I wonder, I think this step is unnecessary. According to me, now that I check it again, this is unnecessary. Because I'm ending up there again with that. I could have just directly jumped into this one. So I could have directly go and say the top bracket, bracket and the bottom bracket. I will take it out in a new print. It's unnecessary because I could just jump to this one. Okay, so I'm, I'm just squaring the top and square the bottom. And now, now, I expand. You show the identity that is used. So it's sin theta is I, I make bigger. So most of the time people think identities I must make smaller. But sometimes I must first make bigger in order for something to cancel out. And this is what I do. I make it bigger. Because I say that 1 minus cos, I remember that sin squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. And that's what I did there. And then this is the difference between two squares. And I, I've, I find the difference between two squares. And then that cancel out, that, that is two identical brackets. That is the difference between two squares. That cancel out, and I'm left with this. And then I say, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Okay. I want you to stop the video and, oh, let's just do number C. I'm just trying to not always do A. So let's just do number C. Again, really try to do it on your own. And then as soon as you are finished or you get stuck, you can watch the video. Okay, but let's start. Number C. Let's write it down. So it's 1 over cos theta minus tan theta squared identity. 1 minus sin theta over 1 plus sin theta. Okay, now, if I'm starting with the left-hand side, left-hand side, then I'm just going to now, first thing, everything in terms of sin and cos. So, I'm, okay, I'm first going to just rewrite it out, over, it's always good, and it's square. And then, it's 1 over cos theta, minus sin theta over cos theta. Don't forget it's squared. Okay, then I make my denominators the same. It is actually the same. So it's 1 minus sin theta over cos theta, and it is squared. And now I take the square up and down. I square both the top. I'm just breaking it up. Sin theta square over cos theta square. Okay. And now, 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 
you must in the exam, you must think, oh, this is square, but there's a sin. Oh, and, and let me show you how I remember it. I know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So if I want to make this the subject, then cos square theta equals 1 minus sin square theta. So then I'm just going 1 minus sin theta square, and I bring that one in. So it's 1 minus sin square theta. Remember to write the square there. Okay, so I was take, making bigger, I expand. Now, now I can, I can go on. This is two brackets, exactly the same. Copy and paste. This is the difference between two squares. So it's 1 minus sin theta, 1 plus sin theta. And that cancel. And I'm left with 1 minus sin theta, 1 plus. Oh, I'm going to make it cos. Where is cos coming from? Sin theta. And I check. Oh, excellent. So I just end up by saying... Therefore, left hand side equals right hand. And and they like this is very you must do all of them. They like to ask this in a test or exam because most of the time students forget that they can make bigger or they can expand. And expand is helping them to simplify further. So please focus on this type of ones. It's usually catch up.